Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Your mission in this file is this. But whatever it is, trust me, you will not succeed. Fool. Eventually, I am humble before my Oh, please! Stop acting peaceful because there's nothing peaceful about you. Do not take me for a fool. I am watching you. I will make sure you leave this palace. Even if it's the last thing I will do for you. I can never be angry with my queen. Standing out here. Are you not coming into the room? Come inside to do what? No, tell me. Come inside to do what? Listen, as far as I am concerned, I am done with you. You're done with me? I don't understand. Are you serious? <laughs> but you haven't even done anything yet, and you're done with me. Well, that's my style. Listen. I don't want all this ranting. I want to be left alone. Wait. <laughs> Is that all you have to offer? And then you've been disturbing my peace all the while. Are you serious? You didn't even go in. And then you're done. Wow. I do not have time to exchange words with you. I just told you I am done. If I ever need you, I'll let you know. You're joking, right? You're joking. From the look of things, I can see you're here to see the prince. Am I right? You're right. I'm here to see the prince. He knows I'll be coming this morning. Is there a problem? Can I advise you as a mother? Why are you, please? The cook. What advice could you possibly give me? A man that thinks he can get any woman with his money is not an ideal man for any woman. I think I understand what you mean by that. But see, I am not here for his money. I like him and he likes me too. We could build a relationship. So thank you for your advice. to your place. Yeah, I've already called a taxi that is going to come and pick me up. Yeah, now, now. I need you now. Okay, I'm coming now. Just get ready for me. You sent for me. I gathered you in the kitchen preparing something. It's not just something, it is something special. Trust me, you will like it. Must we go through this over and over again? You are the queen of Asak, my kingdom, and you have sacred duties attached to that office. I have told you, 
Concentrate on your job as the queen of Asakuma kingdom and leave everything that has got to do with the kitchen. Have I not told you that before? My king, to the best of my knowledge, I have not slacked when it comes to the duties of the queen. It is true that you hired a cook against my wish, but that does not mean that I cannot enter the kitchen once in a while to prepare something for my husband to eat. The case that involves the molested maiden comes up in the royal court in the next 30 minutes. You are the judge in that case. I want you to leave whatever that has got to do with the kitchen that you are doing and go and prepare for that case. And let me remind you that whatever special you may be preparing is not for me. And you know it. I want to see that picture. No, you're not seeing it. You must know everything. I must know everything, Zayola. What is wrong with you? Since you came back from the States, you have been keeping secrets. No secrets, my princess. It's my phone, it's not yours. Then let me see. Come back. No. Give no, me. no, 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 no. I don't like this. Stop it. Who is that man you're hiding from me? My princess, there's no man. I am single. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are single? Yes. Hello. Mommy, <laughs> greetings, my queen. Who do we have here? <laughs> Sayola! Hmm? How are you? Thank you. I'm fine, Mother, please, stop making her head swell. <laughs> when did you come back? Last week. How are your parents? My dad is fine. My mom traveled to the US today. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. We missed you. Or your friend is still there. Oh, mother, please stop making her feel so important. Uh, do Welcome, Dad. Welcome. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Anytime you come in with that look, I always know that something is up for gossip. So tell me, mother, what are we gossiping about today? Are you calling your mother a gossip? No, not at all. Before you report me to your husband, I haven't said anything wrong. Well, I have not come here to gossip. I have come to talk. I want us to talk about your friend, Ziola. Ziola? Why should we talk about her mother? Is she still single? Mother. My princess, I am serious. Is she in any kind of serious relationship at the moment? Well, she said she's single. That's so good to hear. Why do you ask, Mom? You will know in due course. By the way, my princess, I can see you're still talking to that poisonous snake I asked you to stay away from. Who? The cook. Oh. That woman is evil. Her mission here is to destroy this household. Not again, mother. Not again. That woman hasn't done anything wrong to any of us in this house. Are you kidding me? You are waiting to see her come into this house as your father's second wife before you know she's evil, right? Mother, please. But I cannot gang up against someone that hasn't done anything wrong to me. She hasn't wronged me. Did you just say that? Greetings, beautiful one. How are you? I'm doing very well, my friends. What brings you here? I came to talk to my mother about something very important and to help her out as well. That's very nice of you. 
I hope I'll get some when you're done. Sure, my prince, you will. All right. Beautiful one. Beautiful indeed. <laughs> Talk. Is that the reason you blocked me? Do not give me attitude as if you do not know what I'm talking about. Stay away from that girl. As what? Her father? Her mother? Her guardian? Who are you to tell me how to live my life? When did all this nonsense start? It starts start? now. What is wrong with you? Are you the only man that likes women? What is wrong with you? Listen, Denzel, you can go out with any woman you have chosen, but certainly not Ijoma. Stay away from her. Let me do you a favor. Make rules that can be obeyed. This one cannot, will never be obeyed. The girl is pretty. <laughs> Denzel, misbehave around that girl. I have a way of getting back at you. What is the meaning of this? Excuse me. excited. What happened? Mother, I met the prince on my way inside. And why is that exciting? Mother, the prince is a nice man. He even asked me to bring his food to the room when we are done. Will you get off that feeling? Listen, I don't want to see you anywhere close to the prince. Stay away from him. Mother, but why? I said I don't want to repeat myself again. Stay away from that prince. Stay away from him. Mother, but why? I said I don't want to repeat myself. Can't you hear me? Stay away from him. Greetings, my king. Madam Prince, how are you today? I'm doing all right, my king. Good. Greetings, father. Yes, Denzel, how are you? I'm all right. I have somewhere important I need to be. It's all right, son. See you when you're back. I hope that will be enough. Thank you, my king. Thank you so much. The gods of our land will reward you bountifully. I have, I've told you, please, Madam P, stop thanking me. This is nothing. Thank stop. you, thank you, my king. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you, my king. You know, just go and solve your problem. And um, anytime you need anything, always feel free to come and uh, tell me about it. Thank you, my king. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, my king. Son, what is it? I saw your husband giving that woman a huge amount of money. What? Why? 
It's not end of the month yet. Why would they be giving her money? If I knew, I wouldn't be bothered. Hi. I told you. I told you that woman is here on a mission. I told you she's evil. Now she has bewitched my husband. I am surprised at you, mother. I'm surprised at you. How can you tell me that you would stay and allow another woman, less a cook, have such influence on your husband? What can I do? Your father is the king. He is not just any king. He's a powerful king whose word is law. Oh, mother, please do not allow another person to hear this. You were not just an ordinary woman. You're his wife. And your position must be respected. Denzel, should I remind you that you are his son? His heir apparent. Why don't you tell him to choose between you and that woman? But you already said it. You said that woman has bewitched my father. What if he chooses her over me? It's not possible. You are his son. His only son. His heir apparent. There is no way he can choose that woman over you. So I want you to go ahead and do what I have asked you to do. Why have you turned these guys on me? Why do you want me to do this? What is your problem good? You are not looking your normal self. Apparently, something is bothering you. What is it? Father. I had wanted to ignore this, but I couldn't. Mother has been complaining, but I totally ignored her because I trust you so much. But right now, Father, I don't even know what to believe anymore. You're going round and round and round, and I don't understand what you are saying. Listen, good. You are talking to a king, and I will appreciate it if you can come out clearly and present your point. Let me know where you're coming from. Father, I heard that you gave Madame Peace a huge amount of money. Yes, I did. And do you have a problem with that? Father, how do you think your wife would feel hearing that you gave that woman such amount of money without informing her? You're talking as if you don't know who your mother is. There is no way she would have agreed for me to give that woman that money. Not that I didn't want to inform her, but I, I wanted to you know, let her know about it after I must have given the money to the woman who needs it. Why would you even give her such money in the first place? Why? I know that I don't have the right to ask this question, but Father... Daniel, listen, it's okay. That woman has done nothing other than serve this royal household with every sense of responsibility, with dedication. The least we can do for her is to assist her when she calls for us to assist. Would you pay her? Of course, I do pay her, but listen. Her daughter, she was on the verge of losing the admission she got in the university because of their inability to pay the acceptance fee and the, and the school fees. She told me, and I, I came in. I had her sister. Oh, was it what happened? Exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry, Father. Forgive me for doubting you for a second. I was under a serious pressure. So sorry. It's all right, uh, but I, I must have done it. Advice you good. You have to know who you are. You are a woman who has compassion. You have the feeling for others. Don't ever play that on that. And don't allow your mother's insecurity affect your sense of reasoning. No, Father, it will not. As a matter of fact, this will be the very last time it will happen. Thank you so much for assisting the woman and her daughter. You are the best. It's okay. It's all right. Honestly, I don't know what is going on here, mother. What is the connection? My father now trains her daughter for her. Exactly. And your sister does not see anything wrong with it. She's taking sides with them. That woman has bewitched her too. I am equally surprised myself. 
She now supports an outsider over her own family. We need to make father hate her so as to throw her out of this palace. Son, that cannot fly. Nobody can make your father do what he doesn't want to do. What if our beloved cook is a thief? Son, how can you say a thing like that? Peace is not a thief. I have set that woman up several times. But she will always turn blind eye to everything. The way you handle deals like that is not the way a mafia will handle it. You're my mother. But you do not know I am a mafia. Let me handle this and you'll see the difference. Greetings, my prince. You sent for me. Yes, I sent for you. I want to give you an important task. If properly done, you will be handsomely rewarded. What is it, my prince? Yeah. Take this wristwatch and jewelry. Put them in Madame Peace's handbag. Do not speak to anyone about it. Have I made myself clear? What of Madame Peace, man? My prince. Should I tell her that I'm putting it in her bag? Are you such a big fool? I thought you were the most sensible amongst the guards in this palace. Put them in her handbag and speak to no one about it. My prince, what if she asks who dropped it? Are you alright? Are you listening to me at all? I said speak to no one about it. And in fact, you've never seen those jewelries, you never spoke with me. Have I made myself clear? But my prince, you know it's a lie. And lying is not noble. What do you know about nobility? I am the one noble here. Now listen to me. Do not speak to anyone about it. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my prince. On we go. understand what you are saying the more it dawns on me that you're not making any sense at all what is going on okay i'll tell you what is going on there is a thief in this palace someone went to my room and stole my expensive wristwatch that is where i have a problem listen to me denzel you may elect to forget all things but not ever forget that this is the abode of the king of asakuma kingdom the people that are walking here, they understand the implication of stealing anything from this place. Don't you know that? You can speak for the gods. You can speak for the royal mates. Because they are the ones under the royal oath. They cannot steal anything from this palace. And what makes you so sure of that? Good, what is, I don't understand. What does it mean of this? Is it not very disrespectful? Does it mean you've been listening to us? Father, I was actually coming to see you before I overheard Denzel talking about his missing wristwatch. And I ask, what makes you think that it's not the guards or the mates that stole it? Because I have searched your rooms. I have searched everywhere thoroughly and I could not find any wristwatch. What exactly are you insinuating? Who could have stolen it then? I am not insinuating anything. Madame Peace is the only one that is not under the royal oath. She could be the thief. Oh, please, Denzel. Don't be ridiculous. What is going on here? Now, how can you associate Madame Peace with this nonsense? How can you? What is going on here? Oh, your son is making me very angry. That is what is going on here. Son, what is it? Mother, there is a thief in this palace. 
Wow. Someone went into my room and stole my expensive wristwatch. I have searched the guards, I have searched the maids. And I came here to obtain permission to search Madame Peace and my father here is objecting. Why? My king, why are you objecting? Is it that you want to start encouraging stealing in the palace? Peace works in this palace, so she must be searched. Peace. There's a reason we called you back. Some things have gone missing in the palace. An expensive wristwatch, and I just gathered another expensive jewelry. They were stolen from the prince's room. And according to them, they have searched everywhere. They have searched the guards, they have searched the maids, they have searched their rooms, and they couldn't find all these missing items. But I call you to ask you specifically, please. Do you have anything whatsoever? to do with the missing items? I am sorry, Your Majesty. I'm surprised. I've never taken anything from the palace. I mean, you all should know me already. Oh, shut up. Shut your mouth. What is that? If you are as innocent as you present yourself, how come things go wrong around you all the time? Uh, enough, enough. Please. I am the one handling this question and I called her. So allow me to do it. Don't shout at her like that. It's all right, Father. I'll do the searching. I'll search her back. There's nothing here. Madam Peace, I called you to apologize for that avoidable embarrassment. Please, don't hold it against anybody. No problem, my king. I was worried that things like that have never happened in the palace. I am worried too. And I am just hoping that it is just a misunderstanding. Because I cannot afford to have a thief in this palace. I cannot. I hope so too. You see, I am only hoping that it is just a misunderstanding. That the missing items will be found eventually. Because if by the end of tomorrow those items are not found in this palace, I will have no other option than to engage the services of Onye Eta. That is the seer to come here and tell me exactly what happened. That would be nice, my king. That's what I'm going to do. You may leave now. Thank you, my king. How you lost your expensive jewelries. When did you get here? Just now. 
I came to console you. I know those jewelries cost you a lot. It's appalling that we now have a thief in this palace. It is a disturbing trend. And father is not saying anything about it. Says who? <laughs> it's funny that you do not know the kind of father you have. He already sent for a seer. Any moment from now, the seer will be in the palace. Yes. A seer? Yes. A seer. What? Uh, how? Why? Why do you look so surprised and agitated? Everyone wants to know who the thief is. Or don't you want to know who is responsible? Of course. <laughs> he has sent for the seer. And any moment from now, he will be here. He also said that he's going to leave the staff of the king against whoever it is that is responsible for this evil act. Oh, I pity that person. I pity that person. Because he or she will leave this kingdom and never to return. Never. Such huge punishment for just jewelry and, and wristwatch. I, I, I think I'll just go to father and tell him I misplaced it and, and I have seen it. I don't understand you, Denzel. When did you suddenly become this kind? Or is there something you're not telling me? Absolutely not. It's, um, no. Um, I, uh, it's just that the punishment is way too much for just jewelry and, and wristwatch. Yes, they're expensive, but not at the expense of someone's life. I'll just replace them. So you want to lie to the king? That on its own is suicidal. No one goes before the king and lies. No one does that. Listen, we don't need to have a thieves in this palace. So I am insisting that you allow the king do exactly what he wants to do. Yes. Yes. Um, so um, the, the, the seer will come? Of course he would. And, and the staff will be lifted? Immediately. Do you have any problem with that? No. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Very good. You are acting somehow. Is everything all right? No, you are acting somehow ever since this incident. Is there something you're not telling me? Yes, my prince. There is. All right. Go ahead, spill. I just want you to know that you're my only brother. And I love you so much. And the king said that even if I am the one that is responsible or have a hand in the missing items, that I will be banished. Banished? Yes. But you have no hand in this. Why are you bothered? I am saying this so that whoever that it is that has a hand in it should open up before I lose my only brother. What's that supposed to mean? What are you insinuating? I am not insinuating anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure? Denzel, are you sure? Because I am certain that you do. Of course. I saw his body movement, the guard, and I followed him up. I know someone made you do this. Tell me who the person is, or you will suffer the consequences alone. Please, my princess, I don't want to die. It is the prince. He gave it to me. He said I should put it in Madame Peace bar, that I should not tell anybody about it. Hmm. Do not tell the prince anything. Thank you, my friend. If you disobey this instruction, I will personally punish you for it. So you knew about this all this while? Are you not supposed to be sober and apologetic? How could you? I mean, how could you bring royalty to this level of ridicule? I am not doing this for me. I am doing this for us. Meaning what? Explain it to me. 
Explain how setting up an innocent woman will benefit me. How? What is wrong with you? Can't you see? This woman is about to destroy our lives. She's trying to find her way into our father's life. And you know what that means? It means she will be controlling our father. It means she'll be telling our father what to do. And you know what will happen. Our father will bring her home as a second wife. Can you hear yourself speak? Can you? You call yourself a man, yet you allow mother, a woman, to tore you around. What is wrong with you? What kind of a man are you? Denzel, why are you waging war against an innocent woman that did nothing to you? This woman is not innocent. She's demonic. She is poisonous. I am ashamed of you. I am really ashamed of you. Listen, Denzel. You have to go and meet father before this year arrives. If not, you know the implications. Daniel, how are you? I'm alright, Father. I... I came to have a word with you. Okay. You may be seated. Thank you, Father. What is it? It's about the missing items. Oh! Don't bother yourself about the orders. Don't! The seer will soon be here. Oh, Father, I don't think we need the seer anymore. I have found it. I... I was careless about it. I didn't know where I kept it, but... But I found it now. Do you actually understand the implication of your carelessness? I do, Father. That is why I have come to apologize for the false alarm. I'm sorry. Really? Now you want me to dismiss everything just like that? After accusing all the workers in this palace? You think it is that easy? I oh, know it's not that easy, Father. That's why I said I'm sorry. Well, in that case, you have to go and apologize to every one of them. One by one, you must have to apologize to them. Everyone? Yes, everyone. Especially Mother Peace. You have to apologize to all of them and make sure they give you their word of forgiveness. If not, I don't want to say anything. Am I supposed to apologize to every one of them? Why are you fighting? Someone who's not fighting back. Why are you pushing? Someone who's not pushing back. Why are you fighting? No way, father. No way. I am waiting for Prince Charles to divorce his wife and come and marry me. I want to be the queen of England. My princess, why do you always play with this issue whenever I bring it up? It's a very serious issue. The marriage of the Princess of Asakama Kingdom is a serious business. I know, Father. But to be honest with you, with the way marriages end these days, no one should blame me to be scared to commit. Okay, for instance, take a look at you and mother. And what is that supposed to mean? There's nothing wrong with your mother and I. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Okay, Father. Why does mother see Madame Peace to be a threat? You ask her that. In as much as I know that Madam Peace is a good woman, I equally know that my mother is not insane. Let me just ask you something, my, my sweet princess. Do you genuinely think your mother has a reason to be doing all these things she's been doing? Father, you make her do that. I know it is not a crime to be close to your workers. There is no big deal about that. But Father, mother is your wife. If she wants to cook for you, allow her to do that. Uh, let me just please. 
Can I just ask you for a favor? Stay off this matter because it is absolutely beyond you. Well, I believe you know the best, Father. But I plead that you should solve this problem, at least for once. But notwithstanding, I am still waiting for Prince Charles to come make me his wife. For I want to be the queen of England. And by implication, you are telling me to my face that you want to be a second wife to somebody? But he has to divorce his wife and then make me the queen. No, so no, father. I want to be the queen of England. Seriously. Princess, my queen, you sent for me. Why did it take you so long to answer my call? I was frying snail for the king. I couldn't leave it halfway. I see. Well, I'll be cooking for my husband tomorrow. Therefore, you're off duty. I didn't hear you, ma. Are you deaf? I said I'll be the one to cook for the king tomorrow. Take tomorrow off. Not at my feet. Oh, please, get out. Why are you fighting? Someone who's not fighting back. Why are you pushing? Someone who's not pushing back. Why are you fighting? Someone who's not fighting back. Why are you pushing? Someone. It is like punching a wall. Even though it's not going. Greetings, my friends. I'm just coming in. I wasn't expecting to see you outside. It appears you avoided me. Avoiding you? Why should I avoid you, my prince? So how have you been? I'm fine, my prince. Looking beautiful as usual. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. So what brings you here? Well, I came to see my mother and to know if I can help her out today. Very thoughtful of you. You know, there is something striking about you. You're beautiful, smart, intelligent. Above all, you're hardworking. You deserve to be a queen. So when you and your mother are done cooking, I want you to personally serve me my food. Okay, my friends, I will. I hope you won't disappoint like the last time. Not at all, my friends. You may go now. Thank you, my friends. Wait to test this delicious milk. Mother, good afternoon. Madam, it's now that the food is almost done that you carried yourself to this palace. Mother, why are you sounding as if I deliberately refused to come and help you? I had so much to do in school today, that's why. I'm sorry. I see. Now wash your hands so that you can help me serve the food at the dining. Okay. Um, but, Madam, you have to dish out the prince's food. He begged me to bring it to his room. You are very stupid. How many times have I warned you to stay away from that prince? Mother, he asked me to bring it to his room. If the prince needs anything, he should ask the maids. Or better still, he should ask me. You don't work for them. I do. What's Shut what? up! I don't want to see you anywhere close to the prince, no matter what. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. Go and wash your hands. Okay, mother. Beautiful daughter of the cook. 
I can imagine how sweet you would be on this bed. I am going to eat your food, but that is only after I have eaten you. Yeah, come in. You asked to be served in your room. Y yes, I did, but um. But what, my friends? Never mind. J just go. I'm fine. Is there any other thing you need? If there is, I'll let you know. You serve the food, right? Just go. That water is boiling so you can wash the stockfish. Water is not boiling. Oh, okay. Oh, bring um, the blender. Get ready to grind everything. Um, have you grounded the pepper? Yes, ma'am. You okay. You grind the obono and everything. Are all the spices ready? Yes, ma'am. Everything. Yes, ma'am. All right. After everything, you will pluck this, wash and cut. Do vegetables, okay? Good afternoon, my queen. Oh, what is it? Don't, 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 don't touch it! What are you doing here? My queen, I came to see if there is anything I can help you with. Did they tell you that I am handicapped? Eh? Did they tell you that I cannot prepare the food my husband will eat? No, my queen. What is it? Can't you stay in your house? I'm sorry, my queen. Sorry about what? Just, 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 just get out! Get her, let me prepare for my uh, husband. Go, go, Biko. Look at her. She cannot even stay in her. What is this? Why are you fighting? Someone who's not fighting <laughs> back. Why are you pushing? Let me get you some juice. Someone some who's juice. not pushing back. Why are you fighting? Someone who's not fighting back. Why are you pushing? Someone. It is like punching a wall. There is always a way you go about the things you eat. Does it have anything to do with royalty or a habit you created by yourself? There's a, your sister just asked an important question. Can you respond as the prince? Um, honestly, that I, I have no idea. But if anyone has something to say, I think I am interested. Okay, then I let me let me promise you I, I will respond to this. I will revisit this very topic from some other time. <laughs> Move the juice. Move the juice. Then um, you start placing the tumblers. And uh, where is Madam Peace? Oh. She's off to tea today. I told her I wanted to cook for my family. Yeah. <laughs> Keep every. <laughs> To be the one asking you, why didn't you allow the cook perform her duties? And when has it become a crime for the queen to cook for the king? Listen, you are the queen of Asakuma Kingdom, and you have a huge responsibility assigned to that office. Your place is not in the kitchen. Tell me why you have refused to eat my food. Or is there more to it than I know? Please, don't read any useless meaning into this. I have a cook who prepares all the things I eat. A cook I pay every month. 
you are not a cook. How many times will I explain this for you to understand it? And I have refused to understand it. I have refused to understand why my husband will not eat my food. I have refused to understand why my husband would choose the meal of a cook over mine. I have refused to understand why my husband should be so close to this cook. I have refused to understand you know, all that. One thing that will never happen is you confusing me with your drama. It is not possible. Of course, I know that I married a drama queen. But does it mean that no day will ever pass in this palace without you coming up with all this drama? Really? I am... So I am now a drama queen because I was trying to protect my own. I have become a drama queen because I wanted to cook for my husband. Fine. 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 Honestly, I don't think I can take this anymore. Oh, please, don't tell me to calm down. You are not in my shoes. Can you imagine that I prepared something for my husband to eat? He rejected it. He called the woman and asked her to cook something for him. When the woman finished, he ate it. Do you know how painful it is? Now, my daughter has been turned to her driver, taking her to the market to buy food stuff. Honestly, I, I don't know how long I can take this. I don't know why everybody likes and respects her. I don't know what else to do. To the best of my knowledge, I have done you no wrong. I don't know why you are sitting this way, looking this way. Did you sleep at all last night? How would I sleep? Tell me, what is going on between you and that cook? She cooks for me. And I... I pay her every other month. That's it. Yeah, yes, uh, uh, sometimes she would ask about my health and I would respond. Then occasionally I give her a, a pat in the back for being such a wonderful cook. That's all. Can you understand it that I am not here for jokes? So I'm, answer my question. I'm not joking, I'm answering the question. Is there anything that you have asked me that I'm not answer? Are you sleeping with that cook? Uh -uh. How can you ask that kind of question? You are the queen in this palace. And both of us sleep together every other night in the same room, on the same bed. Why are you asking me if I've slept with someone else? What kind of question is that? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I so I'll say it. I don't know what you are talking about. Or is there any night that you remember that I have not slept in this palace? So you have decided not to answer my question. You are confusing me. I don't know whether you are confused yourself because there is no question that you have asked me here that I have not answered. What question? Where is that stupid woman? Where is that fool? Where is that fool? Come out! Come out, idiot! Stupid woman! Fool! Idiot! I should greet you. Will you keep your useless greeting to yourself? Fool! Listen, peace or whatever they call you. I did not call you on phone. Neither did I write you an email. I have come personally for you to know that this matter is very serious. Is there any problem, my queen? Will you shut up? Well, I have come to warn you. Stay away from my husband. Whatever it is you used in bewitching him, remove it. I will not warn you again. I will not. But my will you shut up? Shut up! Do you think I came here to listen to your useless voice? I came here to shut your voice up. 
do not force me to shut it up for you forever. You will not be this lucky next time. Idiot. Fool. Stupid woman. Husband snatcher. Okay. to go six of them and none is responding. <sighs> oh, son! How are you? I'm alright, mother. Good. I have another plan. Yes, we will not relent until that woman leaves this palace. Hey, Mom, can you do me a favor, please? Just say it. Can you leave me out of your problems? I have my own personal problems to worry about. Denzel, what other problem is greater than this one? That's it. It's always been your problem. Your problems are always the greatest. Do you ever think about someone else? It's always your problem. It's always about you, your house, your husband, your throne, your kitchen, you this, you that. It's always about you. Son, what is it? What do you want? When I walked in here, I asked you how you were, and you said you were okay. And did you take a second look? Did you look at me properly? I did. My son is great. You don't need to scream. What is it? Huh? What? Your father provides you with everything you need and want. You are the prince of this great kingdom. You have been placed on a vantage position in the administrative structure of this kingdom. What else do you want? You really want to know what I want? Yes! Is it possible for you to leave me out of your problems? God already threatened to report me to Father if I do anything stupid. Your uncle is the Prime Minister. Why not talk to him? So... You're not just scared of your father. You are also scared of your younger sister. I am not scared of anyone, mother. I am only being careful. Careful. Mm. Is there a conspiracy against me? How can I cause these ladies in one day? All of them will not pick my call. What must I do? Hello. I need to see you urgently. There is no way the king will tell me that he doesn't have anything to do with that woman. When I confronted him, he couldn't even deny it. My queen, which exactly is your problem? 
that the king does not eat your food or that you are suspecting him of having an affair with your cook. How was ever that woman my cook? She's not my cook. I did not hire her. It was the king that brought her into this palace. Let me ask you. Is it not the duty of the woman, the wife, to bring in a cook if she deems fit? Why would the king bring in that woman? This accusation is strong, my queen. I hope you are aware of the implications. I don't care. I do not care. He brought his secret lover into the palace as a cook in disguise. And I'm going to sort everything out. My queen, this is an abomination. Wait, hold on. If that woman is an ordinary cook, let the king sack her counsel. Ah, you want the king to send the cook away so that you start doing the cooking yourself. Exactly. I want to start cooking for my husband. I want him to start eating my food. Let that cook go. Okay. Um, the king is not someone you tell what to do. But I'll try and reason with him. Just maybe something can come out of this. Okay. Thank you. I know as my blood you will always watch. So the only thing disturbing my wife now, to the extent of coming, to report to you is that she has this thought that I'm having an affair. <laughs> you won't blame her, my king. She's trying to protect her territory. No such territory is she protecting. You know, sincerely, I am beginning to feel very bothered. With this, her decision that she must cook for me. Why? Uh, Why look for not reached? It is said that the road to a man's heart is through his stomach. She is trying to get to your heart. That is absurd. That may work for some men, not all the men. In fact, I am among those men that it doesn't work for. Listen to me. My wife is already in my heart. I love her absolutely. And I have no plan whatsoever to get another wife. So why will she be scheming to find her way into the same place where she is already? Does it make any sense to you? But my king, uh, is it not better you grant her the request of cooking for you? At least that will make her change her mind from thinking that you are having an affair. You know, oh no, well, let me just tell you something. I was the one that brought that woman here to cook for me. And I have my reason. But I am, I'm, I'm just very bothered. From the very first day I brought her here and introduced her to my wife, that she is now the cook I want to trust with the things I eat. She came up with this, this high level of hatred that I'm still not able to understand. I am she will also be here. Okay. My king, you sent for me. Yes, my queen. How are you? I'm okay. Thank Greetings, you. my queen. Greetings. She is Madame Peace. The cook I told you about. I called her because she is here, finally to resume her job as the cook in the palace. Welcome. Thank you, my king. My king, I'll be in my room. What was the meaning of that? I told you about this woman. Why would you give her such cold welcome? What? I don't like her. You don't like her when you don't even know her? My spirit does not accept her. Please do not employ her here. Let me make one thing clear. And that's why I actually called you. That woman is not going anywhere. And I will plead with you, please. Treat her with respect. Hmm? Please. I should treat her with respect. I said please. My king, I don't want that woman as my cook. I will employ my own cook. But Malolo, you are the queen. 
You have your job as the queen. Forget everything about cooking. But let me remind you. If eventually you decide to employ a cook here, that your cook will only prepare what you eat. Madam Peace prepares the things I eat. You know, let me tell you why I brought that woman. Before my father died, he told me a story. A story that assisted me to understand exactly who the wife is. Some people may trust them so much as wives. Based on what my father told me about who the wife is, my entire understanding of how you approach the wife changed. Some people may trust them absolutely as wives, but I don't. There was a man, a good man, who some deadly men, a kind of mafia, wanted to bring down. For no reason. You know the mafia, once they want to bring anybody down, they may not even have any reason. They just want you out of the way. They want you out of the way. They tried everything possible to bring this man down. It was not working because he was a good man. They finally, they were able to penetrate his wife. Promised her the kind of money that she has never seen before. In fact, they made the money available to her. Do you know what happened? That woman, because of the money, killed her husband. Hey! Women. After my father told me that story, and I started to recall, and I started to monitor my wife, looking at her every other day, somehow I decided to be very cautious. And finally, I met this woman. That is why I made her my cook, and that is why I trust her so much. But my king, why do you trust the cook more than your own wife? It is not about trusting somebody more than the other person. It is about somebody doing what my wife cannot do. Listen, that woman did something that tallied with what my father told me. And because of what she did, I brought her here and placed her in charge of the things I eat. In fact, let me tell you, she is the only one that cooks what enters my mouth. My king, is there something you're not telling me? What could she have done that made you trust her more than your wife? Woman, you are a widow of my land. And that is why I agreed urgently to follow you to this place to seal your prayers with the staff of the kings. Why are we finally here? And you are not praying. What is happening? My original prayer to the forces that keep the sacred Asa River of Asa Kuma has been answered. That prayer was for them to bring you here without too many questions. What are you talking about? What prayers? I have made up my mind to dedicate the remaining days of my life to your service, my king. I brought you here to witness that oath I am going to take. What oath? This is a woman. I may have to educate you on something you don't know. This is the sacred Asa River of Asakoma Kingdom, into which the remains of our progenitor, the Akuma of Asakoma, was lowered. People do not come here to enter into any oath when they are not serious with what they want to say. Because any violation of any oath entered here is tantamount to death. Are you not aware? I know your majesty, and that is why I'm prepared to take the oath. You are the king. You deserve the best. And you deserve to live long and not to die in the hands of those who are not committed. Permit me to serve you and I will enter the oath. Go ahead.
under the watchful eyes of the forces that keep this sacred river of Asa, I enter this oath to serve the king of Asa Kuma. I will serve him with my life. If I ever conspire against him in any way, rise against me. Let us be sincere to one another. If you were in my shoes, after hearing that kind of story from your father, and then you, you meet a woman that did exactly what she did, what would you have done? My king, she indeed is a woman to be trusted. And that is why I want you to do me this favor. Because I may not discuss this with my wife. In fact, I cannot discuss this with her. As she has come to you to discuss with you, I want you to find a way to go back and tell her that there is nothing absolutely going on with that woman and myself. She is here to serve me, to cook what I eat. Okay? I wouldn't want her to read any useless meaning into that relationship. She is a staff working for the king, and that is who she is. I trust you, my king. And from what I have heard, I think the best thing is to let the woman be. Just let her serve you as she desires. Greetings, my king. Madam Peace, how are you today? I am doing all right, my king. What about you? I am all right. As long as my people are all right, I am equally all right. My king, your food is ready. Okay. And uh, thank you for coming to inform me, but I am not hungry yet. Actually, I want us to talk. Can you please sit? So can you, can you tell me what is happening? Are you not going to remarry? Or you want to remain like this for the rest of your life? My king like this? Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Why have you not said yes to any of the men of this kingdom and even beyond that have been coming for you? Or are you confirming to me that none of them is up to your standard? <laughs> not really, my king. We have great men in this community. So what is keeping you? Now, why are you not saying yes to any of them? Or does it mean you want someone that will begin to write you love letters, begin to buy you rose flowers <laughs> like we do in those days? <laughs> Greetings, my queen. Get out of this place. My king. My king. Why are you fighting? Someone who's not fighting back. Why are you pushing? Someone who's not pushing back. Why are you fighting? Someone who's not fighting back. Why are you pushing? Someone. It is like punching a wall. You really need to calm down. I'm in a position to tell you that there is nothing going on between them. How can you say such a thing? I saw those two people discussing on how to, to send flowers and write love letters to each other. Come on, my queen. Don't allow your imagination to go out of boundaries. 
there is nothing going on between the king and that woman. Well, it is obvious you don't want to help me. No problem. I will help myself. You are my blood. Since after the death of your father, I have taken it upon myself to be your family. But my problem is, you are as stubborn as your father. Please, please, don't call my father on this. Don't call him on this. When the entire villagers ganged up against my father, you were not there. It was his friend, Chifokobio, that stood by him all the way. You were not there. I keep telling you, no one ganged up against your father. Mm -hmm. He was my brother. He killed himself. Because of the allegation the villagers leveled against him. Even you and the entire royal household. But there's no problem. Whoever is involved in the death of my father will surely be. Listen to me, my queen. Don't allow history to repeat itself. I cannot deceive you. L listen to me. If you know what is good for you, leave this place this minute before I lose it finally. Go ahead. Go ahead and lose it. Beat me if that will make you happy. But I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what I want to hear. And what else do you want to hear? I, 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 I don't understand. Why are you consistently giving me this behavior that makes it clear to me that you don't even know me? That is it. Do I really know you? I saw you and your lover planning on buying flowers and writing yourselves love letter. And you expect me to be happy about it, right? I, are you not ashamed of yourself? No, what is going on? Why are you so insecure? A queen of your class, a queen in your caliber, condescending to the level of discussing your private matters outside? You are the one who drove me mad. Have I not been asking you? Have you told me anything? Can you just hear yourself speak? Mm -hmm. let, let me tell you something. That thing you are looking for, you will see it. You see the way you're talking to me? Because of that thing. I've done everything for you to be happy. Yet, you prefer that woman hey, listen, to me. Listen, listen. Just stay here and just believe whatsoever you want to believe. I am not going to be a part of this nonsense. Believe it and don't make me a part of it. Nonsense. Now my husband walks out on me because of her. No matter what it takes, I must make her pay for this atrocity she has committed. And most importantly, she can't hinder my plan. I must make all the people involved in my father's death to pay for their crime. Mother, you're always not like this. What is this thing you find very difficult to discuss with me? It is because you confuse me with the way you understand things. I am your mother. And ideally you should stand where I stand on all issues. Mother, please, let's not go into this again. Mother, in case you have forgotten, I am a first class graduate of one of the leading universities in the country. I have a mind of my own. You don't expect me to believe everything you say to me, even when I hold a different opinion. Listen, sweetheart. 
You have to trust me on this. This is not mere hearsay. It is something I have verified. The cook's grandfather was well known for his diabolic acts and manipulations. He killed a lot of people when he was alive. And when he died, his granddaughter took over from him. And who is this granddaughter of his that took over from him? The same woman you call Madame Peace. The same woman who cooks all the nonsense you all have been eating here. She's just buying time. Eventually she will kill all of you. Enough, mother! Enough already! What are you saying? I mean, where did you get all this from? That woman is harmless. Really? Yes. Is this not the climax of it? You now call your own mother a liar just because of an outsider. <sighs> is it not obvious you are under a curse? No, mother. I am not under any curse. If you are not under any curse, then go and talk to your father. You are the only one he listens to. If you are not under her curse, Tell your father to send her away. Tell your father what I said. Do as I have told you. No way I'm doing this with you. Hmm? If I see any reasonable suitor, I will get married. I am not scared of marriage. But seriously, the rate of domestic violence, divorce, and unhappiness in marriages these days is alarming. It's too much. What's my own? I must get married. <laughs> my marriage will be a blessing. Mm. In fact, my marriage will be a bed of roses. Mm. Keep dreaming. <laughs> Remember that roses have thorns. So be ready to enjoy the pains from the thorns. But seriously, your mindset about marriage has changed. My dear, you don't have to blame me. Seeing everything happening in the world now, how husbands and wives murder their partners, it gets me really scared and confused. I understand your concern, but we still have marriages that work. How many of them? Tell me. How many? Moreover, most marriages appear to be working in public. Once you go closer, my dear, you will be disappointed. That's true. You know, if most women who speak publicly the truth about what they pass through in their marriages, I'm sure we would rather remain single. I'm happy you're seeing it from my own point of view now. But that does not mean I will not get married. <laughs> it's fine. It seems something is bothering you. My dear, honestly, I am in a dilemma. What kind of dilemma? Okay. If someone close to you asks you to do something against someone that did nothing to you, what would you do? I wish I understood what you're talking about. But my advice to you is follow your heart. Do that which gives you peace, but never you do what you regret later. Can you tell me where this is coming from? <laughs> Honestly, this girl is beautiful. She came here yesterday to see my sister. She's hot, just my spec. I think I am in love with this girl. I wish I could, but you know my sister God would never accept. I mean, she knows all my escapades with women. Oh, sorry, let me go with that. Mom? Son? You did not go with your father to the meeting. I'm sorry, Mother. I, I couldn't meet up with that. I had other things to do. Son? You need to set your priorities right. Your father sees you as an unserious human being. 
And that is not good. I don't understand what you're talking about, Mother. The only way your father will start respecting you and listening to you is when you get married. I mean, the way you bring in different kinds of women here is appalling. Mother, you think getting a good woman is easy? Real women are scarce. <laughs> and I am not ready for all that. Uh -huh, you have to be ready for I will not allow you mess things up for me. You don't want your father to respect you or what? You have to be ready. You have to get married. Okay, um... But I do not have a woman to marry. Well, I have someone in mind. Sayoma, your sister's friend. <laughs> Zayola. You can make that happen? Hmm? Not a problem here is gold. I am not sure she would allow her friend come anywhere close to me, knowing my escapades with women. Leave that to me. Stop looking at me like that. How do I stop? Just tell me, how do I stop looking at you? When you are so beautiful. Beautiful like the morning sun. So bright, so refreshing. I cannot stop looking at you. Just take a look at your smile. So mind blowing. <laughs> Do not let your girlfriend hear this from you. Girlfriend? <laughs> what will I be doing sitting here with you if I have a girlfriend? Prince of Asakuma Kingdom does not have a girlfriend. As in, how is that even possible? All right. I'll tell you how that is possible. Like you said, I am not an ordinary man. I am the Prince of Asakuma, which means whichever girl I decide to be with is not an ordinary girl anymore, but a role model, a promising queen, which means I should go for the best. Are you saying you're yet to see the best? I am saying that the best is sitting next to me. Oh. You're so sweet. You are the best. And you deserve the best of my love. Beautiful one, how are you? I'm doing very well, my prince. You're here so early, where's your mother? My prince, my mother is seriously sick, so I will replace her till she gets better. Sorry about that. So, is your meal as delicious as that of your mother? <laughs> like mother, like daughter, I can even say better. <laughs> okay, um, I'm hungry. And I would like to eat vegetable soup. How long would that take? Like one hour. One hour? <laughs> That's too much. I thought it shouldn't be more than five minutes. It's just vegetable soup. My prince, five minutes. Even noodles take longer than that. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, My prince, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I just think I need vegetable soup. My face, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Greetings, my queen. Mother. What are you doing here? Get out. And what were you doing laughing with that girl? Nothing. I only told her I needed vegetables, so that's all. Stay away from that girl. I will not say this again. And where is she going? 
I'm going home. I'm done for today. Are you sure? Because there is something important I need to discuss with you. Okay, my prince. If I may ask, what is it, my prince? The vegetable soup you prepared today is the most delicious I have ever had. I decided to show appreciation by driving you home. You're welcome, my prince. Thanks for that. So let me just get my car keys. No, my prince. I can walk home. And besides, my distance is not far. Why do you like stress? My prince, it's not stress. It's exercise and it's good for the body. Maybe you can give it a try, you know? Exactly. Let me exercise with you. Sorry, my prince, I didn't get you. I said, can I exercise with you? No, my prince. I don't want you to faint. <laughs> so, you think you're more fit than I am? I know you were strong, my prince, but please stay back. I don't want to be the reason the prince of Asakuma Kingdom is admitted in the hospital. How are you? <laughs> because of that girl, just because of that girl. That is not even up to my beauty. <sighs> it's okay. Shouldn't have bothered yourself. I'm better. You are better like this. What exactly have you been drinking? It's herbal medicine. Herbal medicine. For what exactly? Did you see a doctor? Do you know what is wrong with you? I know my king, and the medicine is doing magic. I will be all right. The medicine is doing magic. No, for how long have you been drinking this, your so-called herbal medicine? Four days, my king. For four days? And you are still like this? And you are not bothered? My king, I'm better. I'll soon be alright. Uh, do you know what, Madam Peace? I don't even want us to argue on this. Just prepare your mind because I am taking you to a hospital right now. But my king, I said I am alright. It is not for you to tell me. It is for the medical doctor to properly diagnose you and ascertain what is your problem and give you proper medication. That is what is going to happen. And we are going there right now. With your attitude. Why are you acting up? I can't remember doing nothing to you. My prince, the food is not ready. Would you like me to serve you with snacks till the food gets ready? Why are you acting up? Like, what's all this? You jealous? Hold on, I. 
Are you jealous because you saw Zaola and I? Is that it? Oh, please, don't be like this. My prince, with due respect, if you don't need anything, can I be excused to continue with my duty? What is wrong with you? Um, once breakfast is ready, I'd like to be served in my room. Greetings, my princess. Greetings. How is your mother? She's doing very well, my princess. Good. Don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What do you want with Ijoma? I beg your pardon? Did anyone tell you that I have anything to do with her? Then explain to me why you wouldn't stay away from her. Why? Is it a crime to be friends with your workers? <laughs> Please. All right. If you must know. I just wanted her to be comfortable, that's all. Make your choice on time. Is it Zeola or Ijoma that you want? Make your choice. Because I wouldn't want you to hurt either of them. Both ladies are very dear to me. It will always be Zeola. It will always be Zeola. Is this how low you think of me? Mm. Thing that I will condescend so low to have anything to do with the daughter of a cook, an ordinary cook. Let us be the last time you insult me with this narrative of yours. It is not an insult. It is not. Why don't you leave the poor girl alone? I mean, stop leading her on. I mean, stop giving her the impression that you want something from her. <laughs> In her wildest dreams, she thinks I would have something to do with her. Then she must be a fool. She should know she is not in my class. Then leave her alone. Leave the girl alone. Don't hurt her feelings. I know you. Madam Peace, since morning. Ah. What is your father, the king of this kingdom, doing in that woman's house? Mother, I don't know why you have refused to see the truth. What truth? Is it not obvious? What can the king of this great kingdom be doing in a woman's house since morning? He said the woman is sick. And as a doctor, he had to go there. Oh, mother. Can you stop suspecting him? How could you say a thing like that? How could you say I am suspecting him for something so glaring? Or is it because you have decided to turn a blind eye to everything? Maybe he went to somewhere else from there. Where? Advocate. He is your husband. Why not call him? Maybe by then you will believe.
Nobody should blame me. I have not done anything wrong. I, I am only trying to protect what is mine. Nobody is helping me. Everybody is driving me crazy. You, your father and your sister. Now I am seen as being insensitive and insecure. You are the one that should be helping me, but no. No, mother, 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 please, please. What is all this? Is it everything you've asked of me and I did not do? Is there something you want me to do that I did not do? I hate whoever you want me to hate and like whoever you want me to like and still, that is not enough for you. What do you want me to do? Marry Zayola. I want you to marry Zayola now. But I am on it already. I am just getting to know this girl, that's all. Son, both of you know each other well enough to get married. Why don't you marry her? Propose to her and marry her. And forget that Ijoma girl. Why the rush, mother? You know why? Is this why you called me here? Yes. Be a man, Denzel. Get married to Zayola so that you can stand up to your father. You think it's that easy? I have tried to make this whole thing simple for you. But the problem is that you are not even making any effort. You are not even making any effort on your own to help yourself. Be a man, Denzel. Be a man. Greetings, um, please come. Are you still angry with me? Why should I be angry at the prince? I don't think I have any right to be angry at you. Listen, I am sorry. I am sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry for anything. In fact, sorry for everything. How is your mother? She's getting better. I'm actually on my way home. Oh, wait. I instruct one of my guards to drive you home. I'm okay, my prince. I can walk home. Joma, daughter to the cook. They are cat and dog. I'm tired. The way he's looking at her. Oh my, my brother. He likes to look for the poor girl's trouble. I am sure he's looking for one annoying thing to tell her. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. You should allow the poor girl to be, please. <laughs> this one. He likes trouble. My brother. Ziola, my princess, do you really love my brother? Yes, I do. I love the prince a lot. Are you willing to stand by him through thick and thin? Yes. Do you trust him well enough to spend the rest of your life with him and always support him? Why all this question, my princess? I love the prince and I'm willing and ready to stand by him no matter any condition. Okay. I just wanted to be sure that my brother is in safe hands. Yes, he is. No problem. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Are you saying you didn't have enough of me the last time we lodged at the hotel? Yes, I want more. I want us to do it again. I want to show you what I can do. I see. I'd like to see what you can do that I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's not like I am boasting of being an expert. But I know how to completely satisfy my man if the chance has been given. Are you saying that I did not give you enough chance the last time? Yes, my love. I want more. I want you. And I want you rough. Mm. Not like the other time you were being gentle with me or something. I... I promise you this time around I'll make it up to you. Mm. I would make sure you beg me to stop. Mm. I like the sound of that. The last one did not last. And you refused touching me again. It was really frustrating and I hated that outing. I am so sorry. Honestly, I didn't mean to. It's just that I wasn't in a good frame of mind. I also didn't want to turn you down. But I promise I'll make it up to you. Your Highness. Did what I just saw now happen? Or was I dreaming? I don't know what you're talking about. What did you see? I saw the cook arrive this palace in your car. Yes, I sent the driver to go bring her to work. Do you have a problem with that? Why? I don't understand. Why would you do that? That woman is a worker in this palace. And to the best of my knowledge, we pay her every month. So why would you send a driver to pick her up? Should I remind you that the lady we are talking about was sick? Listen to me. She practically came face to face with death. And how is that my business? Hello? She is a worker. Listen, listen, my king. You see this one? You must agree that what you have done is wrong. A worker should be treated as a worker. Listen, the woman we are talking about is not just a worker to me. She has an important place in my life because she cooks the things I eat. So, she's resuming for the very first time after the sick period. If sending the driver to go bring her to work is what you are now telling me that I have done something wrong, I refuse to agree with you because I have done nothing wrong. If you have a problem with that, don't make me a part of that problem. Please. What? I, 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 please. I would like to be left alone. Please. Hey! When are we going to do that? When you must have picked what I kept underneath your chair. Tell me first. Or do you want us to do it in the palace? Like I said, first pick what I kept underneath your chair. And that will determine whether or not we do it here. Okay. I wonder what this thing is. So, where do you want me to pick it from? Which chair? There. Is it what I'm thinking? Will you marry me? Yes! yes. My king, it's not like I did not experience that, but you know that I, I got married early, so the experience was not that much. That is impressive. I am actually happy that finally you are beginning to agree that you had an experience at all. That means if we continue talking, maybe 
Uh, you will agree to everything eventually. <laughs> <laughs> My king, I never said that. I never experienced that. Well, I am happy that um, you are back on your feet. Just take your glass. It is actually good that after the sickness you have recovered so fast. Sincerely, it calls for a toast. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> to good life. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, my queen. Leave. What was the meaning of that? What? I want to be with my husband. Should I remind you that you have to be very careful how you talk to people? Nobody knows tomorrow. Your Highness, please. Don't start. I talk to people the way they deserve to be talked to. Really? Yes, really. Listen, you are not dragging anything with anybody. Yeah. Always bear that in mind. I am not here to talk about your lover. So why are you here? I'm here to tell you that your son is getting married. Wow, this is really beautiful. Yes, I love it. Yeah. So tell me, when is the wedding taking place? The prince said he's waiting for the king to choose a date and he's yet to talk with him. That's very nice. I'm happy for you. I can't wait to be officially married to the prince. And what is even keeping the prince? We are supposed to be going out. Yeah, he comes. Ha. <laughs> I know I'll beat you to it. Are you sure? Do you know why I am called Prince Denzel? I bet you don't want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with the prince and this girl? <laughs> that I told you. I don't think so. But I'm going now to take care of it. Excuse me. You'd see. Hello, my Prince Charming. Hello, my Prince Charming. Hello. Mm. Mm. Welcome back. Thank you. Why did you keep your baby waiting? Well, I'm sorry. I had something important I was doing. But I'm here now. Okay. Hope you'll make it up to me. What you know how I like it. What is wrong with you? You're in public. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't leave. Don't leave. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm the princess fiancé. Hmm? We're getting married soon. Congratulations to the both of you. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go. Why in a rush? Thank you so much. Hopefully, you'll be among those that will share food on our wedding day, okay? <coughs> Are you right? I'm fine. Six leaves. Using me with that look, father. When did you meet her? Well, I met her before she traveled abroad to study. Let me ask. You knew her then? As the friend to the princess or as your friend? Father. Listen to me, I need to be sure. Are you confirming to me confidently now that you are prepared to have a wife and live with one? I am 30 years of no, age. No, don't give me that. The maturity of a man has got absolutely nothing to do with age. No. There are some boys who are men already. And there are men who are still boys. The mistake many people make is rushing into marriage because they believe they have 
attained a particular age, or maybe they want to succumb to pressure from some people to be married. No, 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 no. Marriage is different from others. Marriage is superior to a man and a woman just coming together, living together, and possibly having a child. Okay? It's not that simple. Well, I know all this. I'm aware. Okay, so you are now telling me confidently that you are ready to drop your numerous gay friends and stop chasing everything in skirt? I have gone past that, Father. You've gone past that? Let me tell you something, because you need to understand. Marriage is not girlfriend, boyfriend. When you are married, you live with the woman. And she doesn't just, just, she doesn't just come. Maybe come for the weekend and then she leaves. No, she stays with you. You wake up and you see her. And let me tell you, you are a prince. So whatever they call divorce is unknown to you. When you are married, you are married. Are you telling me now that you are ready to live with a woman and then take whatever garbage that she brings with her? Father, I am ready. All I ask of you is the date. Just give me a date. I will discuss with my kinsmen and definitely I am certain we are going to arrive at a particular date and I will communicate that to you. Thank you very much, my king. My father. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hey, look at this one. So your introduction is over. Hey! Yes, remaining the pain of bride price and wine carrying. Then finally, I'll become the wife of the proud prince of Asa Akuma Kingdom. No, you can say that again. I'm really happy for you. But honestly, that was so fast. Mm. So you are leaving us. We are now the Single Ladies Association of Nigeria. Yes, so I have left you people. I don't know why the king doesn't want me to sleep in my man's room. That will not happen because your bride price hasn't been paid. Until then, you'll be sleeping in my room. So someone cannot even taste the commodity she's about to buy. Look at this one. Spoiled child. This is one of the reasons why marriages don't work these days. When you finish testing different commodities and you eventually get married to someone whose commodity is not as sweet as your X6 commodity, you start looking outside. It will not happen. No. Mm. Me, I cannot even marry a man whose commodity is not worth it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to start looking outside after marriage. <laughs> Better for you. But for now, ne, you'll be sleeping in my room. Oh, I don't want. Oh, you must want. Zayaba, this is midnight and you are still awake. Are you alright? I couldn't sleep, my king. So I just decided to go outside, catch some fresh air and look at the stars. It might help me fall asleep. Quite philosophical. Well, feel free. Enjoy yourself. Whatever that works for you, you will show it. Thank you, my king. Good night, my king.
just come in. Saula is in my room looking this hot. What is going on here? A lady is in your room, dressed like this, and you're not talking. Are you okay? Um, yes, I, I am okay. It's, it's just that I'm surprised. I, I wasn't expecting you. Okay. I am here now. Here for you. You are my man. There's nothing wrong if I spend the night with you. Absolutely. But I would rather we wait till after marriage. You know, my father will be very angry if he finds out that we're sleeping together already before marriage. He will not find out. Stop talking. Are you sure this is right? But we've done this before, so what difference does it make? Do it again. I am so ashamed For the problems I have And I am so confused Don't know what steps to take So many words in my head Somebody comes and help me Quench this fire that surrounds me Oh yeah Somebody come and help me Oh Cause I can't do it all alone Somebody come and help me I can't do it alone I am so ashamed For the problems I have And I am so confused Don't know what steps to take So many words in my head Somebody comes and help me Oh, quench this fire that surrounds me Oh yeah, somebody comes and help me Oh, cause I can't do it all alone Somebody come and help me Hey, so 